This is Spike Camp. It's an area where firefighters bed down for the evening, and at this hour, they're getting ready to deploy out into the field. You can see these guys uh, are all outfitted, ready to go. They're actually with the National Guard. They're part of the military deployment here. As you may know, resources from all around the world, Australia and New Zealand, are pouring into this area, into Washington State. We should see about 100 firefighters from other countries joining the firefight here on the ground. And for the first time here in Washington State, they're also making a call for volunteers. Anyone can, that can drive that heavy machinery, those big rigs, the bulldozers that can create fire lines, they're asking for those volunteers to step forward to help firefighters out here. Because resources are stretched so thin, firefighters are gonna face a triple threat today. They have drought conditions, they're gonna have gusty winds and hot temperatures. It's gonna be a tough day for firefighters who lost three fellow firefighters here just this week. Now, of course, firefighters are fanning out all across this area, six western states dealing with roughly 100 major wildfires as they bring in those resources. Another factoid to keep in mind, the U.S. government says 46 million homes in this country, or 40% of the homes in our country, are at threat for some type of wildfire. That's another reason why resources are so thin. Firefighters getting ready here to deploy out to the front lines. going to be a long and nasty day all across the west. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.